Card games have been a part of society for hundreds of years. The first reference to card games dates all the way back to the 9th century in the collection of miscellanea The De Young, which describes a princess playing the leaf game. Humans have found card games to be a great way of entertainment ever since. While regular playing cards are still used often today, other such games known as trading card games really grew in popularity starting in the early 90s with the release of Magic the Gathering. Magic, the first modern trading card game, was released on August 5th, 1993. This release changed the way people appreciated cards. Now you did not just play games with the cards, but you could also collect as well. This collectability created a loyal following that kept players and collectors of each game coming back time and time again not just to play, but to relive the nostalgia of times past. One of the main ways this nostalgia can be relived is through the opening of booster packs. In collectible card games, each pack is random. Some contain desirable and therefore valuable cards, while others contain low value cards. The thrill of the chase combined with the nostalgia of times past makes opening these old and oftentimes expensive booster packs worth it. I'm about to show you the top 10 trading card pulls ever posted on YouTube. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best pull of all time. I hope you enjoy. Before we get started, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Gate Guardian and Blackluster Soldier that we pulled on the channel. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think the top 10 order should have been. Was I right? Was I wrong? Is there something I missed? Let me know. Gladiator's Assault. Okay, Gladiator Beast, Hoplimus, Chamberlain of the Six Samurai, Light Imprisoning Mirror, Gladiator Beast, Halberd. Oh! Oh my god! What? First pack, guys! A few moments later. My wallet will hurt, Terra Girl. We can get you a secret rare, then you will not be hurting, my friend. Trust me. See, this, see, look, when I say bent, this looks like it could be a foil. I could see that in the pack. Lucky Cloud. Ancient Gear Knight. I forgot this card comes in the set. Spirit of the Six Samurai. Swift Strike Armor, guys. We've got a magic card. Are you ready for a magic formula? Oh my god! No! 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 Number 10 is an absolutely insane moment because not only was a ghost rare pulled, which is one in 12 boxes, which at this point, if you buy 12 first edition glass boxes, you're spending a ton of money. The rarest secret rare that has never been pulled in first edition was pulled on YouTube. So not only was there a ghost rare, but the rare secret rare magic formula was pulled. Just a crazy moment that happened very recently, actually. So it was really cool to throw this in the video. I don't think it reaches the level of some of these other things we're about to see, but it was still absolutely insane. So I thought it deserved a spot on this list then you know what since we're here we're gonna say that one for last all right cool it's gonna be that's gonna be the fire all right that's gonna be the epic pool of all pools man i'm uh hoping we get something good man I, same we've here. actually had great pulls but yeah. we, we really gold star would take it away and fee carvana na 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 <laughs> This is just a good ring to it. It absolutely oh, is. Ooh, ooh Starmie. Interesting pattern for the Starmie. Yeah, it's an uncommon. Or, uncommon. Uh, is it uncommon or yeah, rare? Yeah, uncommon. Okay. Interesting. And... <gasps> oh, oh my god! god! Oh. We just pulled the oh. Rayquaza Gold Star! Oh. Woo! My gosh! Holy smokes, everybody. I, I can't believe this. Oh, my Lanta. Oh my gosh! Holy smokes! Oh my gosh! The Gold Star Rayquaza is considered one of the rarest Gold Stars, and Gold Stars are some of the hardest pull rates in all of Pokemon. It usually takes several boxes to pull a Gold Star, and the fact that they pulled the most valuable of them all, Rayquaza, in just a couple of packs was insane. At the time, it was like a $10,000 card, and this was before all the hype, like when everything went absolutely crazy. $10,000 back then was a ton. Actually, I'm really curious to know when people buy packs from like people like ZNG Emporium. I want to know what other people pull, because obviously not everybody's a content creator. Uh, uh, everybody, for the most part, are just basically people who are just buying. And I would love to know what other people are getting. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be a hollow. I feel like this one's gonna be a hollow. It looks kind of shinier, but I might be wrong. Maybe just because my my how my lighting is reflecting on it. But the back looks fantastic. So I actually hope this is a hollow. I hope this is a hollow because if it is. That's gonna be some flames potentially. Okay, lantern. We got another croconaut. Actually, I don't think I pulled this croconaut before. The one with the mouth open. Uh, Aredos. 
Mantine again. Literally in every single pack. Slowpoke, Totodile, my boy. Sunkern, Spinarak, Double Gust, and then finally Psychic Energy. And what is this? Yo! <laughs> Bro! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Yo, where's where's the card savers? Is this, is this Lugia? I have been hunting to get a PSA 10 of this literally for years. I bought this card probably like I want to say 10 times over the course of the past four years. And every single time it's come back as a nine. And to be fair, it was nine worthy because always the centering was off or the easy scratchable hollow pattern, which you can literally breathe on, gets damaged. This card is impossible to get as a 10. And no, it's gonna be give me, give me ten. Yes, come on. Ooh, ooh. My giant camera just went out of focus. Are you kidding me? Number eight is one that I think the story is really important. Rhyme Style pulled the first edition Lugia from Neo Genesis. Neo Genesis often has lots of print lines and it's very difficult to grade their hollow cards. So when Rhyme Style pulled the best card in the set and graded it a PSA 10 himself, it was just a crazy moment overall. And then a PSA 10 of the same card later sold for $129,000. Here we go. Well, hey, let's hope. What would like obviously blue eyes? Blue eyes is the number one card. Dark then magician's my favorite. Dark magician, red eyes, and Exodia head are all okay. very big. They're big. Oh, I've pulled red eyes on the on my channel, so we'd prefer one. Of the, like, what if we pull any two. of those? I'm just gonna get really excited. Obviously, if we pull any legend, of those, uh, I, I mean, might pass. I might pass out. Just saying. Um, and of course, I'm getting sleeve ready just in case. Super rares are great. Any foil is good. That and also it means that. Might actually scale the packs, which is kind of good. Maybe we can actually know what we're going to pull. Mm. May or may not happen. We'll see. All right. Kumutoko. We got some weird ones. Um, Definitely glossy cards. Yeah, I noticed that yeah, one. Yeah, you see that. That's the difference. Glossy looks like this. Wavy looks a little mm. different. All right. Kumutoko. It just looks really nice. Forest. Very good. I like the magic cards in the originals. They're just the nice green. I'm a big green fan. Mm -hmm. We got some green in the background as well. Skull Servant. That's pretty good. The centered He's commons, back. too. These actually are worth a little bit if they're graded. Mm-hmm. Green Phantom King. Okay, this? this is it, guys. Okay, here we go. Dark Magician has been pulled. Oh my, oh my gosh! There's the sleeve. I hit your camera. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't believe this. This is insane, man. Here's one that I was actually in, so I could have, you know, maybe bumped it up a little bit more just because I experienced it. But this was an absolutely crazy opening. We pulled literally everything we could ask for. We pulled a nice super rare out of LOB. We pulled two secret rares out of our other packs, a couple of ultra rares, and then we finished it with the final pack being the Dark Magician, which is one of the best cards from the very first Yu-Gi-Oh set. Legendary Swordsman. So this is the second fusion material for the Flame Swordsman. The M Warrior One. Mountain and yes, wow, oh my god, wow, we just did it. Exodia the Forbidden One, first edition, LOB. Oh my god, that is awesome. All right, here we go. This is the last pack. I'm really hoping to get another ultra rare, but as I already said, these old packs they usually don't contain a lot of hollows. And I mean, we got an Exodia, so it doesn't even matter. Kurama, Terra the Terrible, Dark Grey, a Turtle Tiger, and holy sh oh my, this is, what is, what is wrong with this box? A Blue Eyes White Dragon in the last pack, after pulling Exodia and Raigeki. <laughs> This is madness. Wow. I cannot even believe it. This deserved a spot on this top list because this was probably the best Yu-Gi-Oh box you could possibly open. Literally every foil was insane and the ultra rares were absolutely amazing being Exodia and Blue Eyes White Dragon, two of the most expensive cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. This was one of two first edition LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon pulls ever recorded. If not, if I get a rare, even the rares in the set are very, uh, very nice to have. Okay. Queen of Autumn Leaves, another Water Magician, and oh, wow, oh it's a Jin's, oh my gosh, 
It's a Jinzo jar. If you didn't know about this, so Morphing Jar is one of those cars where it has a rare hollow misprint. If you can see very closely, it's got that Jinzo head outline. So they call them the Jinzo jar. I was not expecting this at all. Jinzo and Morphing Jar on their own in their original prints are crazy valuable, but the Morphing Jar with the misprint where they actually had a Jinzo showing in the hollow foil is an absolutely insanely rare card. And the fact that this guy pulled one out of a very rare pack as a 1 in 108 to get the Morphing Jar, and then it was the misprint, and then he graded it a 10. This pull has to be one of the most iconic on YouTube. Here we go, guys. 11 tradable cards, first edition stamp, and it is a Charizard artwork. Oh my gosh. I need two. Do my best to not ruin the cards on the inside, but save this pack. Oh gosh, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. Oh, even the pack sell for money. Oh, not that I would sell it. Okay. Just gonna put that back over there. Okay. I will be doing the card trick today. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking right now. All right, we have to slow roll this because each card is worth tons of money. All right, well, technically the holographics are, but even these, this is what it's about, guys. Rarest pack in the world opened up. Ivy Soar. Look at that print. Gosh. All right, sorry, guys. Okay, calming down, calming down. Ivy Soar. Now, I will say this if for some reason we don't get even a holographic, I'm still, I, st I will be okay. Because what this is about right now is us coming together as a community and taking the ultimate risk for just, for doing something we love. And that's Pokemon cards, and that's Pokemon and the community itself. Pokemon Center. Machoke. Machop. This is insane. Machop. Wait, the card trick's not different for this one, is it? No, okay, so energy. It should be two energies then you get to the rare. And I will be doing something that I always do on my channel, usually for uh, newer packs. The guess the energy patented trademark of this channel. I'm gonna guess since there's two energies, since my heart's going crazy right now. Psychic and leaf energy in that order. Radita. Oh my gosh. Okay, hands are sweating. First energy. Okay, we did not get the first energy, but energy. Oh no, what is this? It is supposed to be another energy. No way. This one was very weird to place. Leon Hart pulls a base set first edition Charizard from one heavy pack. The card was worth like 55,000 in a 10 at the time. And then by the time he got it back from grading, PSA 10s were like in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I figured one of these needed to be on here. And especially since Leon Hart's video went so big when he actually pulled it, everyone was talking about it. It deserved a spot. It is time for the first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Uh, some of these sell for 15 to $20 on eBay. I've seen them go for that much. I was thinking about selling this one, but I thought, you know what, it's free, I'm gonna open it. If anything is a hollow, this is what I would want. But if it's a rare, I would love a fusionist, because I don't have one. And it doesn't look like it's hollow, but that's all right. So Hitatsu Mi Giant, Laser Cannon Armor, Petite Angel, the Furious Sea King, and a giant soldier of stone. It's not a fusionist. Oh well. Whoa, what the hell? Are you Whoa. kidding me? Whoa, that's what? How is that possible? I just got a first edition blue eyes white dragon. It's in perfect condition. You've gotta be kidding me. Now this one as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan was absolutely insane. 
As I mentioned before, there's only been two first edition Blue Eyes pulls on YouTube, and this one was the first one ever back in 2013. These packs weren't very valuable at the time. Blue Eyes White Dragon was only around $25, but it wasn't the value that made this crazy. First of all, it was the first Blue Eyes White Dragon pulled on YouTube. Secondly, it was out of a single pack, and this single pack was not bought by the person who opened it. It was given to them as a gift from a seller who was throwing in an extra pack. Yeah, they didn't buy this, they didn't search this out, they were gifted this pack for free just because the seller decided to throw it in. And not only that, this was an error pack. There's only supposed to be either a foil or a rare in old school first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. Old school expert pulls a rare and thinks that the pack's over, and right behind it is a Blue Eyes White Dragon. So he got himself an error pack with a first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon in it that was free i will never get over this story i think it's the most crazy and awesome story in Yu-Gi-Oh opening history and i love that it was recorded oh i'm committed now i am committed and thus it's opened card that you can see will be a rare i don't think it is no wait this this is a rare okay this is a god pack i literally got two i'm getting a power nine right here today a few moments later. Two-headed giant of four east. Not for my hair. <gasps> I did it. And I got more to go. <gasps> that is two power nine. Venduran Enchantress. One more, and a plateau. Oh my gosh, talk about worth it opening that. We finally got to Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering has some of the most iconic openings on YouTube. If you're not a Magic fan, just sit back and listen because the stories are crazy. What you just saw is referred to by Magic the Gathering collectors as a God Starter. What a starter deck is, is basically a large booster pack for Magic the Gathering. These starters contained random commons, uncommons, and then a couple of rares at the end. The rares are obviously the ones that you want to go for. They have the potential to be the Black Lotus, which is the biggest card in Magic the Gathering, and other Power 9 cards. A God Starter is where all of the uncommons are actually rares, because they had been mispackaged, and basically you got lucky and hit like... 15 rares instead of two. Imagine if you're a Pokemon fan opening a base set first edition pack and having all hollows. Or if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, Legend of Blue Eyes being all hollows. That is basically what you're getting, except you get even more cards than that because it's a starter. A God Starter has been recorded three times on YouTube. The one you saw I think was the absolute best version, but I will group in all three at number two because they are absolutely crazy. Like huge errors where you pull tons of valuable cards that are just extremely rare. I mean, they're from 1993, so they're extremely old. Now let's go on to number one and see what could top that. Sarah Angel, beautiful one. She seems to be pretty centered. And last uncommon, Soul Net. Here comes the first Alpha Rare at eight minutes in. Will it be the Lotus? Oh wow, Tropical Island. Dual land, there we go. And then the other one is, Phew. holy bitch! <laughs> That's the freaking Black Lotus! That's an Alpha freaking Lotus! That should... Holy... Oh my god! That shouldn't happen! And there it is, the Alpha Black Lotus. I decided to include the Alpha Lotus pull and include all other Lotus pulls as well. So Open Booster said it actually pulled three Lotuses on camera. The crazy thing about Magic Rares is there were only 1,100 of the Alpha Rares created. For the other card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, the original packs like Base Set and Legend of Blue Eyes were printed into Oblivion. Blue Eyes and Charizard, there are thousands and thousands of copies. The fact that this was pulled on camera was absolutely insane. So I was glad to put this at number one, even over God Starters, over First Edition Charizards, First Edition Blue Eyes. This was just the coolest pull of all time if you're a trading card game fan. Make sure to let me know your opinion in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this video because we'll be doing more cool stuff like this in the future. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Spanky McFarlane, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.